Hi, my name is Christopher Hart. I'm a cartoonist, author of many books and drawing cartoons. I hope you'll pick them up. Today I'd like to show you how you make a classic cute character. And you know, there are certain things we know about cute characters. Um, they're, they're round, the eyes are big, their mouth is small, and we think, oh come on, that's just, you know, that's just the stuff that you'll learn is not really used all the time. It is, I'm telling you, it is. So I'll show you how to make one, you'll see what I mean. Well, here's a fence we'll have for this one character. This is like this, just very loose. So I'll darken it in later. I'm gonna make a cute bunny. And just right now, just working on basic shapes. Round head, like we say, classic for cartoon characters. No shoulders, classic for cute characters. Little arms and, and hands. I'll give, him, give this bunny a little popsicle. Okay, and he'll have that arm behind his, behind his back. Now let's show some more of the classic steps to drawing a cute character. They're really effective, they're fun to do. Now, the eyes are way low, and that's the eye line right here. Here's the bridge of the nose. Now this is small, because it is small. Nose is small on a cute character. Now these aren't rules where if you break them, you're gonna get a uh, reprimanded by somebody by the cartoon police. It doesn't happen like that, but they're really helpful and usually work. Sometimes you may wanna change it just to exaggerate and move this down, but they usually work very nicely. So here is, here are the eyes. We're gonna spread them out apart, make them very round. As you, you probably already know, the big round eyes are important for cute characters, whether they're animals or people. We're gonna have him looking up because he actually took somebody else's popsicle he should not have taken. All right, so give him a couple of eyelashes here. And because the eyes are really big, we're gonna make the tooth small. You usually think that a cartoon tooth on a rabbit character might be very big, but we have to remember the, the principle of contrast. When something is very big, you wanna, you wanna you know, put something smaller behind it. Otherwise, you're really just, you're kind of yelling at the viewer. And now, we're gonna mold the head. So this is very round, but you know, round is good, but we can add a little more interest if we kind of add a little shape to it. So we're gonna make those cheeks come out like this. He's a little worried, he's gonna to have to give it back. And now we'll have a big floppy ear, kind of really loose, because this is a very solid shape. Notice the contrast, very solid shape, and we're gonna contrast that with these floppy ears. That's how, how it works. And we'll bring this one over here. Like that, now I will use my handy dandy tool and work on giving it some darkness. Gotta go slowly in this, don't wanna make a mistake, because if you make a mistake in the eyes, it's tougher to get back into the drawing. Okay, here we go. And we're not just looking up, we're looking a little bit in through the center. It gives it a little more of a deer quality. See? You want the, to get the reaction of A-W-W-W -W -W from the viewer. Oh. All right. Don't make the uh, eyebrows too long. A little bridge of the nose, a little button nose there. Tiny little tooth. Little eyelashes. And I think we're ready to go on the face. Nice, confident lines, because it's a very simple shape. We know where that goes. Confident lines. And we'll add a little speed to that. It kind of, the energy kind of transfers. Let's have about a couple of whiskers, just a few little, little whiskers. 
And usually on cute characters, they're young and the whiskers are short. That's just how they're usually drawn. Like I say, you can experiment. And there have been many cartoons that break the rules, but it's always a good place to start. It's like a foundation. These rules are that way. Okay, here is that delicious popsicle that he should not have taken. What, Mom? I, 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 this? Well, this, I got this for you. Okay, a little fence going on here. Bring this down and touch it. Uh, okay, that's better. And let's get this going first. Show the interior here so it doesn't look flat. That's the reason. And sometimes you may really want it to look flat if you're exaggerating a flat look, which I'm not doing right here. And the other one falling over his face like so. I'll erase a little bit just so we can see it without the mess. They're fun, aren't they? They're simple and they're fun and they're creative. You can do it with any character, a character who you don't even think is a cute character, an alligator, as long as you follow some of these guidelines. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel so that I can see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.